Alright guys, so we are back here at Golf MD for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a much requested video on the combine on the track, man. Apparently it takes like an hour to complete and a really good score would be like, I mean a perfect score would be 100. I don't know what to expect, I've never done it before, but we're going to try it. Alright, so what's the deal with this combine here? You hit uh, uh, 10 different yardages, you hit 60 shots from 10 different yardages it gives you, and it tracks you and actually uh, gauges you, gives you a rating of one to 100 on each shot, and okay. then each uh, and then again. club or yeah. each distance. And you can actually send that, uh, it, you can compare that to anybody in the world that has a track man. Really? So you can compare it to all co college kids, all uh, you know, guys over 40 or Coaches, pros, whoever, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Wow. So cool. it compares you to everybody and it gives you a number. The good thing is once you've got, if you do an 80 the first round and you want to go work, it'll show you what we need to work on. Mm -hmm. You go work on it again, then we'll come back in and do a combine again and make sure you improved on that number. Okay. So it's uh, very cool. So bottom line, first go around, I'm going to get a five. That's the goal. Alrighty, so 60 yards is the first shot. The first shot we just hit, you just go for the 60 yard mark. Yep, 60 yard, down the gut. No warm ups with the wedges, we're just going for it. Alright, 60 degree in hand. Oh, that's so far right. That's a terrible score for the first one, 45 points. Oh, now we're going back to 60 yards. Holy cow.
Don't really know where we get the stats from here, but I just finished. Last few shots were not on video, unfortunately. But it looks like we'll get the final score. Doubt I did very well. Did I break 80? <laughs> I don't think I did. So it shows, yeah, all the cores. <laughs> the you 60, see how your short irons? The you 60 know. yard is, is 55. Okay, we got a lot of improving to do. Definitely. Your yeah. score was 76 first time. First time you've ever done it. 70, that's so bad though. <laughs> it's not bad, to tell you the truth. It's not bad. You can see what you are on those long irons though. That's your number one. Anywhere from 160, you know, 90 to 160, which is full swings with those clubs probably. Yep. All right, that is about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my overview, like slash review of the whole situation with the TrackMan Combine is one, I actually had done the TrackMan Combine one time before this time. I did it down at Las Colinas Country Club uh, in Dallas, Texas, maybe, I don't know, a year ago or something like that. Can't remember the exact timeline of it, but we did it outdoors and I scored above 80. So I did better then than I did the day, which happens to also be like a year and a half later. It's interesting, but my prediction with this whole situation in the TrackMan Combine is I was doing it indoors, so it was very hard to like picture a target when you're hitting wedge shots. Um, so if I did have to suggest to you guys one thing, if you're gonna do the TrackMan Combine, I would suggest doing it outside unless you are very focused in on numbers. So for me, I'm a field golfer. So I don't really go off of a bunch of numbers in my head. A lot of people know sometimes I don't even play with a rangefinder. That's kind of how I've been taught to play golf since I started actually. Bottom line for me, doing it indoors is a little interesting. It's something that I would love to get used to because I do think the number side of the game is very important. However, with today and everything that was going on, I don't think I was really prepared. Didn't really know how to focus in on a target when you're just looking at a screen. So being outdoors will definitely help if you're a field golfer. If you just go off numbers anyway, I think you can do it indoors and be just fine. That's my review. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I had a blast doing the TrackMan Combine. I think it was very beneficial and something a lot of people should at least try to do once or twice, if not maybe more. With all that being said, I know today's video was a lot shorter than normal. I'm guessing it's going to be under 10 minutes long. That's totally fine. I will say to you guys, some future videos will be coming with my girlfriend, Rosie. We have a few challenges planned at the regular course, so like the 18 hole course, not the par 3 course. I'm kind of getting tired of posting a video at the par 3 course like every other day. It's getting boring and I don't really like doing that. So with all that being said, we will be posting some more different types of challenges that I feel like you guys might be a little excited to see. I know I am really pumped to show you guys what we have in store. But either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, peace out.